Hello friends and welcome back to Nick Pixel TV. Today we're going to show you how to get better audio quality in your videos and try to just talk a little bit about audio. I know that a while back I made a video on my channel called like audio gear under $150, like a, a really inexpensive audio setup and video setup to get started on YouTube or just to film videos in general. And I know for most of you, and actually let me start by saying this, that video I made that more for the YouTube algorithm and it wasn't really just me speaking from my heart as much as I'd like to and that's why I'm remaking this video today. I talked to a good friend of mine who's in Norway. He gave me a lot of good advice and he said, you know, Nick, he goes, what might be simple to you is really helpful to a lot of people. So I want to try to do the best that I can to help you with your audio, get better audio for your videos, whether you're filming for YouTube, just filming for your family and friends or just in general. So. Most people start, I believe, with either their cell phone or like a GoPro camera. That's like the most typical. Not everybody has a DSLR camera. They may get one down the road, but typically you're gonna start out with the camera you have, which is your cell phone. So let's just start there today, talk about how you can enhance your audio, get better audio quality. And I've talked about some of these things in the past, but I wanted to just slowly share with you what I feel is a great setup to get started. So I've used a lot of equipment in the past. I've used Rode equipment, I've used Sennheiser, I've used a lot of different audio equipment. I, I tried different things from time to time and I too started out very small and with some basic gear. I always talk about like the Joby Gorilla Pod here and this Rode Video Micro and I do like Rode a lot. I have a lot of Rode gear behind me and in different cases that I, that I like a lot. I think they stand behind their products. Rode, if you're listening, I appreciate you guys and uh, maybe someday we can do something for my subscribers and, and the people that I've I know have bought these mics this year. I've probably passed on about 50 of these microphones. I know people have bought them even without saying anything, and I find out down the road. I sent some of these to some people for Christmas, like Tasman, and I'm not gonna do any audio samples in this video, so I just wanna set those expectations right off the bat, because I truly believe that some of the simple things, like just plugging it in and going, some of my friends have done really well, and, and they're not audio engineers or video engineers. They're just getting started on YouTube, and you can see the quality difference. So I'll, I'll link some of those videos in the description if you'd like to check those out, just to see like a straight, honest review of what you can get from like a mic like this. This is the Rode Video Micro. And if you're getting started with your cell phone, some of the things I would recommend is to take your case off if you have a case. If, you, if you're okay and you're comfortable filming without a case, we're gonna take the case off today just to get started because the mics and cell phones don't always, they're, they're made to pick up like 360. So whether you're, this way and, and real close to the camera or they're real far away they're made to just pick up the whole atmosphere around the phone sometimes that's a great scenario to have and and that's recommended for certain shots and, and certain things you're doing but in order to enhance the audio and get like more of a directional audio which is what i'm filming with today you're going to want to use more of like a shotgun microphone this is just a wind muff on here i always leave them on if i'm filming inside or outside you can take it off inside if you'd like you and you can film with it off outside but it's gonna pick up wind. So you put your wind muff on, there's a little adapter here when you take the mic out, you can see the little slot here. The first slot closest to the back of the microphone is for the shock mount. And then the second little slot here is what this clips onto and that'll hold this thing from being loose. You don't want your wind muff to be loose or else you'll start hearing this thing bounce around as well. So without talking about mounting, because I do like this Ulanzi mount, We'll make that a separate video. I'm just gonna screw this Ulanzi mount on here for now, just to give you a common setup, and a setup that I know a lot of people have, and that's not straight, but we'll figure that out later. So this, this once you're mounted, there's a cold shoe mount, and most of your mounts are gonna have a cold shoe, whether that would go on your DSLR camera up over here, or on your phone. So how do you mount this to your phone to get good audio? So today, we're gonna take this, and this mic does come with a cable, and I'll show you that here in a second. We're just gonna screw this onto the Shulanzi mount real fast, and we're gonna tighten that down. So let's just say you have your mic set up, you're ready to go. It's still a little bit bouncy, but we're gonna solve that. We're gonna take the phone, we're gonna slide the phone into the mount, we're gonna tighten it down. And actually I had it just about right. So we're gonna tighten that down. And now you have two stages done. The next thing you're gonna have, whether your iPhone or your Android, you're gonna have a USB-C cable, a USB to lightning cable, you're gonna have a lightning to um, uh, three and a half millimeter, these little adapters. We live in a dongle world because they're getting rid of ports on the phone. So if your phone doesn't have a port, an actual three and a half millimeter port, which is like 
this size right here, you're going to need probably an adapter. So with the lightning adapter, we're gonna take the lightning cable. This is the adapter here that comes with your headphones typically, where you can buy one for about seven, eight, nine bucks. And I'll link some of this stuff up in the description to help you guys, and you're welcome to take a look at it. So we're gonna plug this in here. That's the first step. The next step is this Rode mic's gonna come with a cable, actually this one right here, which is a TRS cable, TRS to TRS. So basically you're gonna see two little black lines on this cable. And I'll give you a close up of that, but there's two little black lines on this cable. And that is what your, your microphone comes with. So you plug this in, and this is made for a DSLR camera or TRS. With the phone, you actually have to get a TRS to TRRS cable. So two R's. And typically they're, they're color coded. Co ah, I can't even talk. Color coded, black and gray. So the gray side has three black lines. The black side has two black lines. And what that does is convert. So you can have your, your left and right audio for your, like your headphones. Uh, or left and right channel, and then your microphone channel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the gray side, we're gonna plug the gray side into the lightning adapter, then we're gonna plug the black side into the back of the mic. Once that's plugged in, you still have that bounciness. Now you wanna try to make sure the cable's not bouncing off or anything, but you can actually take this and push this right into the mount, and you could tighten it if you'd like to, or, or if you wanted it to be up or down or put a little tension on it. You tighten that up, and now you got rid of the bounciness. So now you're ready to take your camera, you can you can turn it forward if you want, tighten this up, and you're ready to go out and vlog and talk to the microphone. You wanna be talking to the mic. So if you decide you wanna flip the camera over and start talking, you're gonna notice it gets a lot more muffled uh, because you're talking behind the mic. This is not 360, it's one direction. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is either flip the mic in the mount or unscrew this and flip the mount so it faces you. So if you want to um, stop your video, stop and starts, and flip the mic around, that'll work pretty well for you. Now there is new microphones out that have better audio for behind you, in front of you, but like this this mic here, this is a uh, Didi mic. I think that's how you say it. This mic here has a mic on the back and a mic on the front, and this mic here is actually 10 dBs, I believe, lower than the mic in the front. This way, when you're talking, it, you're, you're typically closer to the camera when you're filming something else. So now it's gonna be a little bit quieter here and a little bit louder over here so you can switch between the two. And there's a switch in here that can turn on the back microphone or just the mic, right mic, or the front microphone. Now when you do that though, it's splitting the audio channels. So left and right. So in your post-production, you have to kind of choose which microphone you wanna use for that specific area of the shot. That's a subject for another day. This, this mic isn't, I wish they would have made this for cell phones and work to work well with the TRS to TRS, TRRS cable, but they didn't do that. So there's a little bit of limitations. That's why I've been hesitant to talk about it. Still is a great mic. I've been getting some pretty good audio quality out of that on a DSLR camera. So now you're pretty much ready to go. And this is going to be for like one way communication. So think of just things you're filming or talking to the mic. That's a good starting point. If you want to use this mic, and the reason why I like a microphone like this, is it's inex inexpensive to get started. It'll work on a DSLR camera. It'll work on your phone. It'll work on your iPad. You know, if you have an iPad with USB-C, you'll need the USB-C, which is like an oval-shaped cable, to the three and a half millimeter adapter. So you'd have to change adapters, but you'd still use that same gray to black TRS TRS cable. So you'll have this cable extra. And this cable will allow you, if you ever decide to buy a DSLR camera, to switch over to the DSLR camera and use this cable. So now that we're out of those two adapters, let's move this stuff over. I want to mention too that they do make some knockoff cables. They may not be as great as the Rode, but they work well. And this one happens to be color coded as well. So it's pretty easy to put this setup together. Next, we're going to talk about GoPros. Me personally, I don't have the GoPro adapter cable. I have the old one for some of the older GoPros that gives you the three and a half millimeter to the USB connection for a GoPro. But the new ones are like 49 bucks. If you look on GoPro's website, pretty crappy reviews on it. I, I just don't think for 50 bucks, it's worth it on these dongle cables and that's where they get you. So I decided on the Hero 9 to purchase the Media Mod, which it also isn't the best, but it's gonna give you better audio quality. And you can control in the GoPro settings what mic you're using and how you're using your microphones. But this one also has a shotgun mic built in with a port on the back so you can talk into it from behind the camera or in front of the camera 
and then a wind muff that clips on so you can protect against the wind when you're out and about. I would say for the 79 bucks, and if you're in the GoPro program, you can get a discount like I did, and you get this for like maybe 50 bucks. It's probably worthwhile to get this over top of a separate just dongle cable that you're probably not gonna use. Now that's your call, it's totally your call. I chose just to have the media mod for what I'm doing, but uh, you know, a GoPro is made to be mobile and on the go, and usually in extreme environments for filming. So when you have all these cables attached, it becomes, it, it takes away from that. So uh, that's, that's your call. There's other microphones you can buy. I've had some experience with the Ceramonic microphone. This was one I had to get whenever the roads were sold out because they are sold out a lot of times. A lot of people are buying them. This Ceramonic microphone, a little bit smaller in size. It does have the foam cover versus like the Dead Cat or the Wind Muff. That's your call. I like the Wind Muffs. I do prefer the Wind Muffs. I think they work really well. Check out Tasman's channel. He just did a, and I'll link him up. He just did a, a little review with the, the Wind Muff and, and the difference outside in the wind. And you could totally tell a difference. It was it was awesome video. Um, as far as smaller microphones now, some some of your point and shoot cameras they don't have a, a mic port you can plug in an external mic port. You can do things with, with a little bit of foam or get the material on Amazon or at Walmart. That's where I got this one. I have a video on that, and I just 3M taped around the mic port, and this will help cut down on wind too. Sony this year made clip-on ones for their ZV-1 camera, and this one just kind of clips on into the cold shoe mount, and that covers over the mic area. They actually innovated that, and same same concept. But they also have a mic port on this camera nowadays. So it, very cool stuff, very cool stuff. Um, let's talk about two-way communications. Or actually, let's go back and let's just talk about where I started. This was a great option for me, this little tiny mic. This is the mic right here, right? And I'll link this up. This little mic got me through a lot of jams. And all you have to do is plug it in. I got this little cable, this TRS cable adapter. And this was for a DSLR. You can you could use this on a phone if you wanted to, to mount it up, you could. But I got this for a DSLR. And on one of my little mirrorless cameras is the M6. You can still see the tape on the side. I just did like a little zip tie, uh, zip tie holder with a zip tie. Put the mic there, plugged it right in, and I had a very simple setup. I'll plug this in and show you real fast. Boom and boom, and that mic was right there and it helped me get some better directional audio. This was a great option. This is always in my book bag, just in case, for uh, DSLR shooting. So that's an option there. And I hope you're following along. If you guys have questions, put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you. I link stuff up on my website all the time. I try to show you the gear that's important to have that's gonna increase your quality, make your videos better, and we, we try to do the best we can. If you want to live stream, and you're trying to get live streaming going. Now you have two-way communications. You might be talking to somebody, you wanna hear them, you still wanna have good audio. For the most part, to get started, if you don't have a microphone, just use your phone and, and work with the audio that you have. But if you'd like to do some different things, and we'll talk about wireless too, if you'd like to get into splitting that audio signal, you can get a TRS, TRRS cable that splits out into a headphone port and a mic port. And you can use this splitter cable, this Y cable, to accomplish having audio. Now you could plug in headphones. You could also plug in like a, a little speaker, like a little external speaker you could buy, like Anchor makes them, they're like 20 bucks. You could plug in a speaker, now you can hear who you're talking to, and they're gonna get good quality out of your microphone. The other option is, this is one cable option here, this is not too expensive. Then there's a, a little heavier duty cable that's the same thing, TRS to, to the split out. This is gonna be good for you know Android or iPhone. So either one, uh, Android or Apple, either, either one's gonna work well. So this year, Rode also came out with a pretty cool little setup. I do use the Rode Wireless Goes a lot. These things are really tiny. You can clip them on your shirt and you could just go like this, clip it on. It has a built-in mic for the receiver and, or the transmitter and then you have your receiver that clips into your cold shoe mount. So we go on the same mount uh, take this mic off and, and plug this on the mount and you the, you know battery powered you charge them up USB-C they last a pretty good amount of time you can get a pretty good amount of distance uh, away from the camera but you could take this and have a wireless and wired combo if you'd like and Rode has a cable to help you do that kind of stuff so whether it be two different microphones two of the same microphones if you want to run two wireless microphones to mic up two people you can get this cable here from Rode and it splits out each channel. So you plug this in to your camera 
and then you can plug one receiver and this is the the receiver here one receiver here the other receiver here now how do you mount two receivers well there's all kinds of little mounting and we're going to talk about mounting i got to find uh the little mount that that road made we'll talk about this little road plate this one here is a cold shoe mount to a dual cold shoe mount you can mount that on the top of your phone and now you can mount say i had two setups of these you could mount both of your receivers and then have two transmitters out on the go now it is going to split the signal into left and right so that gives you the ability to mute somebody else and bring somebody else in and you have to do that in post-production so you kind of got to know how this stuff works with uh, most of this stuff you're not going to have to do post-production on it's going to be plug and play and just take a look at your audio levels that's that's basically it other than that you have wireless the road wireless go like i said this one here has a built-in mic and you can also plug in a lavalier mic so a lavalier mic would be like a cable that you plug in you could put this in your back pocket run the wire up to you and have a real small mic on your shirt if you'd like, a little lapel mic. Or you could just use the built-in mic, which they also make a wind muff for these, and I don't exactly know where I put that right now, but very good option. So you have a wireless capability, you've got a hardwired, I think most people are gonna start in the hardwired, which is gonna cover you 15 to 20 feet without a problem. It's gonna give you that directional audio. It's gonna mute out things around you if you're if you're standing by a roadside or if you have things going on in, in the background or just some white noise in the background, which I have some things going on back here. So it'll help you with that kind of stuff. That is gonna help you get better audio quality. One last thing too, I just wanna mention real quick is that if you do plug your mic in, make sure that your applications are closed and double check your application settings. Some third party apps will allow you to choose which microphone you're using, some don't. Like the iPhone app, you're basically just going to load the camera up after you plug the mic in and it's going to grab the audio signal. So there's no, there's no real settings there. On the wireless side, you just want to make sure your receivers are on. But it, it's pretty much plug and play. It's real simple. It's going to get you better audio quality. Again, I'll link those up. I don't think there's too much else to talk about in this video, aside from me being appreciative of you being here and following along with Nick Pixel TV. I want to do better, a better job to get you guys more content. I thank all of you, all the new subscribers and everybody that follows along. If you have a specific question, please don't hesitate to put it down in the comments or shoot me an email. I'll do my best to get back to you. I just think that the best way for me to answer questions is to take questions that people have, turn them into videos, and I hope this was helpful in some way. I hope you guys get better audio. I hope you have a great weekend. I thank you so much. Many blessings to you. Thank the man upstairs for everything. Take care.